This morning, David Florence is giving four novice guns an introduction to clay shooting at the Oxford Gun Company headquarters. Before he gets them out on some stands, he needs to talk them through the basics of gun safety and etiquette. Right, first thing we do, you see a lot of people, um, they, they, when they take the gun out of the slit, you see um, and most of it's a sort of old old people that's been in shooting for um, a long time, the old sort of farmer guys, they, they pull the gun out and they wave that gun around. Now I know that's empty, but none of you do. Now the easiest way of taking the gun out of the slit and safest way is literally, you open the slit to about there, gun comes out the slit to its action, which is this black piece on this gun. This is what you call the top lever. That pushes across and it opens. Everyone can see it's safe. It's a perfect way of opening the gun. When the gun comes out, gun comes out there. When it goes back into the slip, goes back into there to about its action, close the gun up, down down there. When you carry the gun, you always carry the gun stock up, bow down. The reason why is that is made solid so the gun will not slip out. If you carry it like that, and you walk out onto the concrete, that zip is not designed to carry the weight of the gun. That zip breaks, gun falls out, you've probably done yourself three or four hundred pounds of the damage straight away. Because the gun's, the, the, um, the stop cracks, and you break it, and that means you're going to either have to pay another three or four hundred pounds, or buy yourself a new gun. So it's just as easy to carry it like that. If you're game shooting or you're walking across fields, you can carry it like that. It just gives it gives your hands free if you've got a muddy um, muddy field and you don't want to slip over, keep your hands free. So you've got free hands. If you do fall over, you can you can save yourself. But mainly on a clay ground, you ain't really gonna get that sort of situation. Like that's perfect. When the gun's out, you've all got skeet vests on. They are bonnet skeet vests. But the skeet vests are about the best things you can you can shoot in. You've got the pockets there for you to put the cartridges in. You've got nothing here. A lot of people tend to come with a nice big thick collar. They have a nice big coat, which has got the coats are really warm, the tweed coats, that sort of thing, they're good. But to actually shoot in, you can't actually get the gun in your shoulder. The whole idea of skeet vests is they've got nothing here, so your neck is free to put the gun into the shoulder. When the gun comes out the slip, that's about the best way you can carry the gun. You put your hands in your pockets, it's open, perfect. All right? Obviously, not like that, obviously. I mean, you can carry it like that, not like that, obvious. Gun open, on your toe. Um, when the gun comes out the slip, we say break it. That doesn't physically mean break it over your knee. That means open it. An open gun is a safe gun. That's all you need to know. As far as you know, this gun hasn't got a safety catch on it. Because as soon as that gun is closed, it's ready to fire. When it's open, it's safe. And all you need to know is when you point it in a safe direction is when you close it. You can carry it like that. Now, I don't mind that. There's lots of people out there that don't particularly like that. Basic reason is, just stand up a minute. If I'm talking to you, we're having a conversation, somebody talks to me over there, smack. And I've seen it happen many a times. If you're in a crowd of people, sit down. Um, remember it's got two ends. It's common courtesy just to do that, really. But if you do do that, and you're in a crowd of people, remember what's about you. You can't, you can't walk about blasé, because all you're going to do is smack somebody around the face with your stock or your gun. And most people just don't particularly like that. So just remember what's about you when you're carrying the gun. That is a definite no-no. It's just a cowboy's act, right? It's just not nice. It's a cowboy's act. People see the end of your gun, end of your barrel. It's, it's not right. You've got to ex give the right image. So it's either like that, or the best way is really under your arm. When you put a gun, we'll show you this more when we get under the stand, but when you put a gun into the gun rack, gun points to the sky, close the gun up, and you put the gun into the gun rack like that. It's always stock down, barrel up, trigger guard facing out. If you put it like that, and that falls over, that's the most delicate part of the shotgun. Right? So the gun is open, and it goes down like that. Right? Now, gun mounting. Um, there's lots of different guns. The moment today we're using Brownings, 
There's different, the, th the three main gun manufacturers really are Browning, Beretta and Maruku. Fortunately Browning I think is probably the biggest because it actually owns Maruku as well. Um, <coughs> now, different guns have different stock dimensions. Browning has the height, the stock dimension mainly, obviously the length of the stock is the, is the important bit, but the most important bit is the height of that stock. And you've got three different stock dimensions. You've got Maruku are very low in the cone. So if you're short and fat, no neck, they tend to fit that sort of people better. If you're very tall, you want a lot of height there. So when your eye goes on that rib, you see straight down that rib. Berettas are halfway between the two. Right? And that's basically different. There's lots of gun manufacturers, but the main three are Browning, Beretta and Maruku, um, which is, really the main three and when you get into it there is lots of starter guns that sort of thing but that's the main three that you're going to be looking at when you first come into shooting right i'm going to go through the gun mounting and then we'll go around each each of you and get you mounting the gun and all you do is you push everything away forward to the cheek everything's there parallel so it goes there you close the gun up there Right? So everything goes forward to the gun. And I'm not looking at the end of the gun now, I'm looking out onto that roof or out onto the target. One major thing you've got to remember, both eyes open, look at that target. Right? So it's there, look at the target, boff. Everyone happy with that, nice and basic. We have a saying here, kiss, keep it simple. Now, easy as that really, isn't it? <laughs> so here endeth the first lesson. Now all that's left is for our students to have a blast. For more information about taster sessions with David, please visit www.oxfordgumcompany.co.uk.